Drug Metabolism The Life of a Drug A drug first goes through absorption, which is the site of administration, to the blood. Then it goes through distribution, which is the blood to the site of action, or the target organ. After that, it goes through metabolism, which is the biotransformation of a drug. Lastly, it goes through excretion, which is removal of a drug from the body. We're going to focus on drug metabolism, which is the enzymatic conversion of one chemical compound, or drug, to another. Primarily, it takes place in the liver, but can occur in other areas of the body. Medications taken orally follow the same digestive tract as your food. It makes its way to the primary site of metabolism, which is the liver. Enzymes in the liver can activate drugs, inactivate drugs, make drugs more effective, increase or decrease drug toxicity, which is too much of a drug in the body, or convert drugs to a different form so that the kidneys can easily excrete. The P450 system breaks down drugs into smaller molecules. They are a group of 12 closely related enzyme families in the liver. CYP1, CYP2, and CYP3 all metabolize drugs, and each metabolizes only certain drugs. Metabolic processes convert the drug into a more water-soluble form for the kidneys. The drug is then filtered through the kidneys to be excreted out of the body in urine. Factors that can affect drug metabolism are disease, age, genetics, nutrition status, other drugs and alcohol, and environmental. Why is metabolism important to a nurse? Well, a nurse needs to take into account a patient's drug metabolism status because the patient's medication dose may need to be increased or decreased, or the intervals between medication doses may need to be increased or decreased. Lab values may need to be monitored, or the nurse may need to teach the patient to avoid or consume certain foods and beverages based on their medication. References